going to turn down this and we're going to jump right into it. Um, I'm excited. This is one of my favorite trainings, guys, uh, because it's really, really important when you're coming into this business to have a strong and a solid foundation. Uh, so keys to successful business have helped me. And I know that it's getting ready to help a lot of you guys um, just soar and launch your business. Uh, so we want to give you the blueprint when you're coming into this, how you're going to be successful, right? We're not reinventing the wheel here. We're literally, you know, copying uh, the right copycats. <laughs> We're literally like just those who have been successful. You know, everything that they have and everything that I'm going to share with you guys, uh, it does work. You know, all of us on here are just you know, living testimonies that that this is the blueprint. Um, so, you know, really, really quick, I'm gonna just share um, who I am. You know, my name is Kyra Jordan. Um, I am a regional sales director in this amazing, amazing platform. Uh, I had no financial literacy background, guys, wasn't taught about credit. I mean, my credit was just crazy. I was just looking at memories in my phone and I love, you know, taking screenshots of where I was because I at my phone and my score years ago was a 452. I mean, I don't know many things that you can get approved with with a 452, <laughs> but that was me going into car dealerships with a high, you know, getting high interest rates, getting denied. Um, so after knowing that I wanted more out of life and I was living at a low frequency, um, I ended up scrolling on Instagram. Instagram spoke to a lot of board Daryl Callum and I was like a lot of you guys hey, I was Kyra, just interested real, in this real quick Kyra you you keep freezing up on us oh I'm just freezing yeah oh man okay maybe just adjust it a little bit and am I still freezing no you good now you sure 100 percent okay um, so I was like a lot of you guys, I was only interested in the the services when I first desire my passion has always been to and I am a single mother. And that's my past my desire I said, once I fix my credit and get to the place that I want to be. Uh, I want to help people. So I got introduced to this opportunity um, and I decided to get, get started. And it's just been the best decision of my life to this date. And I'm just, you know, ready to go to the top, you know, with my team, with my movement, the Queendom Tribe. And I'm just ready to do some more phenomenal things within this amazing platform. So I want to give you guys some of that I have um, taken from, you know, when launching your business. This is not the right slide. One second, I'll go right into it. Give me a second. Um, there's a lot of things that are, that, are, that is really, really important. Um, drop a one in the chat if you're with me and you can hear me clearly. Let me just make sure that everyone is with me. Awesome, awesome. We are all on the same page. Awesome. Uh, so... There's a lot of things, you know, in this business that's really, really important when you're when you're first launching, right? Um, so one of those things is you're getting started and, and you need to determine your why in this business. That is super, super important. Why did you even start this business, right? Uh, there should be a sense of urgency there, right? What is that reason? Is it for your family? Is it for your, you, you wanna be debt free by the time you are uh, 50? Is it is it you're trying to buy a house? Like 
those whys should be really, really bigger than you. And, and that's going to build the foundation um, towards your business. Cause there's going to be some days where you don't feel like continuing. You're discouraged. Somebody didn't inbox you back. Um, you, you feel like this business is not working out for you. Right. But when you see the success stories and you determined your why already, that why is going to be the thing um, that is inside of you. That's going to keep you going. So there are times where I want to give up myself. Right. But I know my why, and I know that this is the vehicle that's going to take me to financial freedom. Um, so those are the reasons why I do not give up. So please de determine your why when you're, you know, in this business. Um, if, if you don't have a why, you're going to be like a cell without a ship. <laughs> you're just going to be floating around and, and just, you know, here one day, gone the next. So determine that why. Always get plugged in, um, you know, downloading these, these apps. Um, and then ask, ask simple questions. And then, you know, just going over this form. If you have uh, already, of course, all of you guys are agents, but this is going to be in your email. Um, you want to write this out and then just, you know, giving your goals, of course. Uh, so when you're coming into this business, right, you always want to determine not just your why, but where you want to be within this platform. You know, I definitely do believe that you can't hit a target that you can't see. So what title do you want to be at? Like, look at this and start dropping it in the chat. Actually, where do you want to see yourself by the end of this year? Is it a field trainer, right? Is it a senior field trainer, a sales director? Drop it in the chat, a RSD, right? That means your business is doing, you know, 30,000 or more. Um, do you want to, are you aiming for VP? So you need to determine the title that you want to hit within this business um, because every single day that you wake up and I see someone is saying they want to, they want to hit VP. And I love when people come in and their, their goals are much higher. They're aiming higher. That is super, super amazing. Um, so definitely VP, ESD. I see some, you know, ESDs, drop it in, drop it in the chat. Where do you want to be? Because every single day you want to be, and if you're coming in, please mute yourself. Every single day you want to write it down and you literally want to be looking at this. Uh, SVP, let's go, RSD, aim, aim higher. I, I'm telling you, aim higher, a VP. Uh, because the more that you say it and you believe in this, this EVP is going to come to pass. So just continue to speak that thing, uh, write it down and, and know that it's going to happen. A VP, we got a lot of millionaires in this chat. I love it. So definitely determine that, take a screenshot of that and know what title you want to see yourself at. So every day you can know um, that. So this is a roadmap um, to sales director. So when you're coming in, right, the first title that you should hit is field trainer. That means that you have two business partners or three and your business is doing 1600 in value. So that's very, very important. Um, you know, that's a hold. Oh, give me one. Okay, sorry. I'm a mom, so that's the my my moment right there. <laughs> um, so the first title that you want to hit, guys, is field trainer. So that means that you are getting your first two business partners. We always say aim for three because when you aim for three, you're building the foundation of your business, right? So as you are building that foundation, it'll be easier for you to hit sales director. So when you're coming in um, this business, we want to get you your first promotion. You could take a screenshot of this as well, guys. Um, your, get your first two agents, get to um, field trainer, you know, then you can see the requirements for senior field trainer and sales director. We definitely want to get you to SD. So that is the goal um, for you guys to get promoted. Okay, so in this business, your mindset is everything, guys. Um, this is really, really important. You know, I, I truly believe this quote down here. And it simply says, whatever the mind can convince and believe the mind can achieve. Your mind is so powerful. So this business is like 
over 90% spiritual and it all has to do with your mind, right? You know, what are you feeding yourself? Um, that's super duper important, you know, being careful of your influences. So when I first came to the business, to this business, you know, just to be transparent, um, my circle began to change, right? The people that I was communicating with every single day, are they positive influences in your life? What are they pouring into you? Is it gossip? I had to reevaluate my friend circle and then just like the text messages, the gossiping, you know, that's not the, the foundation that I want to build with, with more women that are coming into my organization, right? And that's not the influences that I want in my life, right? So you just have to really think about this. It's so important when you are becoming a business owner, what are you watching? I don't even remember the last time I watched a show. So if you're binge watching on Euphoria, I mean, I don't know if binge watching is going to help you become successful and get promoted and paid. Um, what are you reading? So these are some really, really good books um, to read. Eric Warrior, Go Pro. Um, thank you. If you're coming in, please mute yourself. Um, another great book, um, really for your mindset, so you can come out of that nine to five mindset. Uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. You know, so there's a lot of generational curses that we're trying to break. And these books will really help you do that. So definitely, um, you know, do that. So, all right, guys, besides everything that I just mentioned, all of that is super, super duper important. But another really, really important thing is when you come into this business, you have to launch. And I know some of you guys, if you haven't already, uh, you may be afraid to launch. That was me. I pondered with it for a little bit, right? And I and I was afraid to launch. But the very, very important thing about launching is people have to know that you are in business, right? So you just can't randomly start telling people, hey, you know, I fixed credit inboxing them. It is always good uh, to make your first initial post. So if you haven't made this post, then you're basically just not in business, right? We want to let the people that you know on your Facebook, you know, get acquainted with what it is that you're doing. If they don't know you uh, for a person that's doing credit, you know, then you want to definitely make this post. Uh, so uh, I should have put the other post on here. There's another one that we use and it's just, hey, I need 50 of my friends to help me expose my new business, right? My new credit repair business. Who is willing to support me? Uh, that's very, very important. It's always important to tag about 50 to 100 people in that post. Um, that is going to get you your leads. When you come into this business, we want you to get your investment back, right? So the way that you're going to do that is very, very important to launch your business. We want to get you some leads and then get you some customers. I'll just drop it in the chat box as well, Kara. Absolutely. So that that is very important. Please take that out of the chat box um, because that's the one that we're using now and it's been very um, helpful. OK, so this is just really, really important. When I came into the business, um, one of the things that I did was build my page up. Not only was I very, very coachable um, to a certain degree, I could have been way more coachable. I'm starting to think back on that, ponder on that. Right. But I was coachable, you know, and I listened. And there are certain things that you have to do. You got to break out of that comfort zone. You stepping in a whole new atmosphere, a whole new dynamic. Like you have to start building your page up, right? If you want to sit with the big dogs and be a professional, you got to, you got to give that. So building your page up is super important, right? If, if you don't come from this background and you was a nightclub promoter and, and you know, was in Las Vegas, like Daryl, you got to start uh, changing your page around and letting them know, hey, I'm in business now. So please put up a nice profile picture, right? Uh, let people know, uh, even if you don't have, because this is a fancy profile picture that Alfred has going on. And you may not have the money right now for a photo shoot, but please go get a ring light, right? Go to the library, go to a coffee shop, just take a nice selfie. Those things work. You got to fake it till you make it and see you get to that position where you can have a big photo shoot. So please update your pictures. You know, we don't want to see uh, smoking and, 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 and your whole entire, but I mean, the thing about it is people only do business with who they, they know they like, and they trust. So a lot of people join my team and they're like, 
I'm not doing this no more. I'm not getting any engagements. I'm not, nothing is working for me. And then I go look at their page and I'm like, well, when I click on your page and, and all I see uh, is cursing, first of all, because when people come on your page, they're just going to scroll through and they get your energy by off what you give. So if I'm scrolling through and I see you cursing, if I'm scrolling through and your, your picture, I can't even see who you are. I mean, you are just ghetto. It's not going to work. Nobody is signing up with you. I, I would never give my social security to anyone. Not that we're, you know what I mean? I'm never doing that. Right. So you have to uh, build your page up. That's what I did. I, I gave that professional look profile picture, cover photo, um, bio is really, really important. You know, I'm a credit coach. You could say I'm a credit strategist, right? Say what you do in your bio and then give, you know, a statement, what it is that you're trying to do, trying to break generational curses. So you got to give your whole entire page a makeover. Then another key is adding 5k friends. So this is a big one because a lot of times when you don't think that your business is really um, not doing well, it's really because you have a lot of old friends on there, right? You know, people you went to high school with, they're not serving you anymore. Um, there's some real old, old friends. You can start clearing those people up because you want to add like-minded individuals, you know, strangers. Strangers are always the ones who are going to support your business uh, way more than a close relative or a friend. It just happens like that. Now, if you have some relatives that wholeheartedly are riding and dying for you, that's amazing, but it doesn't happen a lot. So you want to start adding people, right? So if you don't have a lot of engagements on your social media, start networking, get into groups, just add 5K friends, find your target audience. Very important. Who are who are the people that you want to serve? You know, what what is your target audience? Is it I'm I'm trying to get, you know, the first 250 single moms in a home. So start adding those people, right? Um, it's really important to have realtors on your page. So my whole entire page is just so different from two years ago. Like I look on my page and all I see is professional people when I scroll down my timeline. I mean, we get some ratchetness in there, but it's important to change that up. So start adding some people. Um, you shouldn't have a hundred friends. You gotta get at least to 3,000 to 5,000. So this is a posted strategy that we use. Um, I can't say this enough. You know, it's not all about money. It's not all about sales. You have to really get that out of your head. Just, just I'm looking to pay my light bill by next week. So I got to get five, uh, five people to sign up. It's not about that. It's about pouring value into people. People only do business with who they like, they know, and they trust. So every single day when you wake up, there should be certain things that you're posting on your page. You should be being, you know, inspirational. Give them some inspiration. Uh, when you when you first wake up, right? Show them that lifestyle. You know, we we travel a lot, and when we're traveling, you know, we're taking those pictures in Texas. People are like, oh my god, I seen you in Texas, and I'm like, this girl is doing it, right? I was just at convention, but hey, yes, I'm doing it. So they they like that. They want to know what it is that you're doing. So posting the lifestyle. Um, another thing, you know, if you're not traveling right now. The other day I went downtown in my, you know, where I live and I started taking pictures downtown, you know, to give you more encouragement. When I never had anyone to take my pictures, I brought a ring light and a, um, what is it? The thing that you could snap a picture. And I literally took my own pictures. I have my own photo shoot outside. So there's no excuses for this. Like get you some lifestyle, get you some pictures out there. Um, some more that you can post on your page, you know, credit tips. So you want to be giving out free value to those people, right? Getting them to comment on your stuff. One of the things that I posted uh, when I first started the business um, was, let me just see if it's up there. Give me one second. Cause I actually want to, I want to see, I love that Facebook gives us, okay, the memories, right? So how do I get to them on here? I don't know. Can you guys still see my, I don't know how to get to my memories on it's here. It's over know. there to the far left. 
Okay, there we are. <laughs> okay, so look at this. Look at this right here. Y'all can see my screen. This was when I first started in this business, March 2nd of 2021, right? Most medical bills can be deleted from your credit history because it's a violation of the HIPAA law. Who needs info? Y'all can screenshot this and take this post. I got, this was one of my, like when I first started, right? I got so many engagements, 96 comments. I need help. I need help. That's just giving them that free value, right? Um, you can contact those people and definitely talk, oh, what negative items are on your credit report, right? And, and then getting into the conversation with them, gave them some free value. Now you have some prospects. So definitely do that, right? Okay, now um, then adding so, some customer acquisition, right? Who needs their credit fixed? Uh, I'm helping 50 people before midnight. Those are the, some of the things that we do, right? Um, then agent agent acquisition. So you definitely want to put out some things, you know, joining my, join my team and, and different things like that. Um, sharing our broadcast when we have uh, those lives and just getting them plugged in. Okay. So guys, if you have not wrote a list yet, um, it's just so crucial that you get a list. I promise you, I didn't know how important this was. Not that it wasn't told to me, but I just was like, yeah, I, I'll write the list. But then when it came time for me to get down and get promoted and I needed to jump into a list, I didn't have a list to jump into. So there's a real reason if your, you know, mentor is telling you, write the list of people, you got to write that list, right? The list, the list that I'm talking about is, you know, people that, let's say your chicken list, you know, getting into tapping into the people that, uh, you know, like your warm network, your friends or influential people that, you know, that, you know, this would be a good opportunity for them, but you're scared because they make more money than you. Right. But people who make money usually only want to make more money. So you don't know, this could be an opportunity of a lifetime for them. And you definitely want to start tapping into that list, exposing them to this information. Um, always important, you know, not only writing that list out uh, to expose them to the, to the business, but also to invite them to your launch party. Hey, I'm hosting a launch party, right, tonight, and I, I, I really want you uh, to join me. I want you to get, I want to get your opinion on my new business venture. That's very important. That's a script that you could send and, and, and get all of these people to check it out. So your launch party should be flooded. If you have this many names, that's a lot of names. So this is some of the things I was just talking about, peaking interest. You know, I'm working on one of the biggest projects of my life. And it's a lot of money involved. People love money, you know, and I thought about you. I thought about you first. OK, I can't promise you anything. But what does your schedule look like this week? So they'll write you back. So use these, okay? Screenshot these when you are trying to pique interest with people. If you're having a hard time with, oh, I don't know how to how to get people to, to help me or to, to, to look into this business, you know, screenshot this, please. Um, I just partnered up with some very successful people. This is for your launch party, right? Um, in the credit repair industry. And I'm having a launch party and I really love your support by attending and giving your opinion on my new venture. I literally just heard, I think it was Starlin. Um, she said that somebody did this to her and she was literally only on to support and ended up being joining the business. Now she's a whole SD about to be promoted again. So you never know. You have to invite people on. OK, so invite them. So another thing that you need to know about this business is that relationships are important. Relationship in this business is going to take you a long way. You know, just, just building the relationship with people, not trying to force anything, you know, not trying to force them to sign up, build relationship. That's really, really important. Um, cross market posting. I do that sometimes, you know, if someone wants me to post for them, I will. As long as it's nothing crazy, I will post it on my page. Um, then another hack, really, if you want to get your business out there, um, paying people to post for you, that's a big thing. You could pay people to post for you, not just anybody. You want to make sure that they're like 
some kind of influential because if you're paying somebody $24, $25 or even $100, you want to make sure that you are really getting a benefit from that. Um, and also another thing, you can do Instagram ads. I had so many leads from Instagram ads, guys. So that is really, really, really um, big. You know, get your IG popping and, you know, get some ads in there. So expand outside of your circle. So one of the ones that we love to um, actually send out is number four. I mean, you can use all of these. When you're doing a trial run, we call it the five by five. So every single morning you should be waking up. If you're not on the Zoom uh, with Daryl and Jamal, definitely should be on that uh, because every single morning they're doing this, right? Inboxing people you don't know and saying, hey, I hope all is well. I'm spreading financial literacy throughout the community. Do you mind making a post for me? It will really help me towards my goal of helping 100 families become homeowners this year. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys and act like, you know, when I first signed up, I just was hopping in everybody's inboxes. No, I wasn't. It, it took me a little bit. I'm like, I'm not, you know, I was the type of person where I'm not begging nobody to do nothing. That's pride though. That's, that's being prideful. Pride is not gonna uh, make you successful. You, you have to denounce pride and get out there and network. It really doesn't matter if they don't respond to you because at the end of the day, you know, I really look at it as every no that you're getting is one step to your yes. Literally, I can scroll in my inbox because a lot of you guys think, you know, people, you know, like, top producers, you know, they don't have the same feelings as you guys. We get told no all the time. I can scroll in my inbox and I'm getting ignored like a hundred times, but that's not the point. I don't care about that. Right. And, um, I love this analogy, uh, when you're on a plane, you know, and the flight attendant is coming down the aisle, they don't care about the people who have their heads down. Who's not, you know, looking at them. They're not tapping them. Do you want anything? No, they're looking for the people who are looking for them. So please understand that the no's are only a close, uh, one step closer to a yes, one step closer to the next VP that's about to blow up your whole entire organization, right? So you, you, you know, be grateful for the no's because, okay, next, keep going, right? Don't close shop because you were left on scene, okay? I'm left on scene every day. So that's just a little encouragement for you guys. Um, but number four, please screenshot and copy this. Number four is super, super duper important as well because it's relationship building. You could say this to them, hello, queen, hello, king. And just introducing who you are, saying that you're connecting when you add them. And that's relationship building. Um, once you build that relationship, okay, Daryl put it in the chat, awesome. Send this to some people before you ask for anything. Make sure you're building relationship with people, right? It's super important. They can be like, oh, that's the girl that just hopped in my inbox, right? Um, India, this, this works for her all the time. People love it. Hey, queen, right? Oh, I like her. They do business with who they like. Now you're building that trust with them. So, so send this to some people um, and, and definitely, you know, get to networking. So these are our trial runs, okay? Every single day, and I'm and again being transparent. When I first was in the business, I didn't understand how important these trial runs were. And I feel like if I knew the importance of it, but it's it's a growing process because a lot of people don't get it until they get it, right? So um when you see people uh on the leaderboards, you have to self-evaluate and say, okay, what are they doing that I'm not? And a lot of the times it's some things that are very, very simple. The blueprint is we're not, we're not reinventing the wheel. The blueprint is here. So it's important to do trial runs. Trial runs are the juice in the life to your business. Um, you know, how are you going to be getting clients and age and, and agents, right? You don't just say, okay, I just opened a credit repair business. Now shops open. I'm just going to sit around and wait for it to happen. That's not even how you can build anything in life. You can't just sit around and wait for it. You got to go get it. So this is what a trial run is. Inboxing those people, when they say, yes, I am willing to support you, send them this. And we do have another amazing trial run that we've been using that it definitely has been working for all of us. If you could drop that in the chat for them. 
Um, the all three credit bureaus are under fire. That one works, you know, this one works very, very fine as well. But that is really going to help you every single day. Now, let's just look at it like this. Let's just say that every single day you wake up in the morning and you inbox 50 to 100 people. Even if five or eight people respond and they do a trial run post for you, right? And then under those trial run posts, you got all these new exposures. Your business is, is in great momentum. You should at least have some signups from that. So every single day you in business, the trial runs should be popping, right? So that's really important. Um, get people to post for you and, and you'll, you'll get into the rhythm of things. Um, so another great thing is absolutely, absolutely. So you guys can look in that in the, in the chat and you'll see all of what you need, okay? Another great thing that you gotta understand is the fortune is in the follow-up. Okay, so just a little bit about myself. People used to tell me all the time, you know, yeah, I'm ready to get started. Um, let's just say next week, I I'll get started next week. And I'll be like, okay, well, call me when you're ready. No, this is, that's, this is not what we're doing, right? It's not call me when you're ready. Ask them, okay, what time works best for you on Friday next week? I'll give you a call. Always booking appointments, right? That's where I messed up. I wasn't always booking appointments with those people. Then I lost a whole bunch of leads, right? Because if you if, if you don't care, they don't care. They're not going to come and stalk you. I mean, some people will chase you down, but the fortune is always going to be in the follow-up. Hey, I hope all is well, right? They might be like, dang, this girl is pers persistent. This, this, this dude is persistent. Like he's just in my inbox. And that happened to me, right? I was, I was looking to sign up for something. And the only reason I signed up is because of how persistent he was. I'm like, if I see his number call one more time, but deep down inside, I knew it was something that I wanted to do. So deep down inside, some people just need that push. So follow up, fortune is definitely in the follow up. So closing is super duper important, right? Closing is when you have mastered uh, your business. It's when you have mastered who you are. When you can close, you are super confident in, in the business and you're confident in this potential. Um, you're confident just in, in you. Because at the end of the day, you know, closing is, is, is emotional, right? It's just building that with them. So you have to understand to follow the scripts, um, leverage the system and make a friend, make a friend, meaning, you know, relate to that person, engage with them. Right. And people only do business with who they like, they know, and they trust, they have to find a reason to actually sign up with you. So we need to do a whole entire training. There's a psychology behind, uh, closing, we need to do a whole entire training on closing because once you master how to close your own agents, I mean, you're on your way to, to VP, RVP, because your business is going to be a massive momentum um, when you're not waiting on someone else to close for you. So closing is just super, super duper important. And I think that's going to be the next thing that we do, like a big training on the secrets and how to become Daryl Callum. Okay, so text replacements are super important. Um, definitely, definitely want to use these text replacements. It just saves you a lot of time. So if you um, want to go into your phone really quickly, I should have write, wrote a... Uh, little thing on how you do text replacements. Basically, go into your phone. If you have an iPhone, is there text replacements on um, Androids? I'm not sure. It's word but, board, but we also have a video up in the Facebook group they can check out. Okay. So you could definitely go into that um, text replacements. It's going to save you a lot of time. Listen, every single day we're saying the same exact thing to people. So when I use my text replacement and someone's like, hey, I need credit help, I just hit it, see one and shoot them the message, right? 10 people at once. I talked to 10 people at one time because of text replacement. So please use those. Um, this is our training schedule. We always have a training. Listen, I love, love, love this team, um, our whole entire movement because 
we are big on trainings, right? Getting the knowledge um, is so, so, so important. If you want to make a lot of money, you have to embrace mentorship and you have to be trained. Um, so we're always having a training. You can screenshot this. We always drop it in the chat when we're having trainings. Um, and that's super important. So follow the leaders, guys. Um, that's what I did when I came into this business. The people that are killing the game, making a lot of money, that are successful, that are, you know, just that you can connect with. If they have a movement that you love and you want to do something like that, everything that 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 we post, if it is valuable, we take it from each other. That's that's how we do in this business. So screenshot this list. Um, we can update this list. There's a lot more women that you can follow, uh, even in our group. You know, you can follow a lot of us, um, screenshot this list. Th these are some of the leaders. Um, and, you know, as I come to my close, always lead from the back. And this is actually super, super important because when you are a servant leader, you know, and you're pouring into people and you're creating that community, um, it's going to take you a very, very, very long and, and just far away in this business. So absolutely, you know, that's my time. If you guys have any questions, please drop it in the chat. Um, some of you guys I'll be helping launch, you know, personally, but let's just drop it in the chat. If you have any questions, if not, uh, that's my time, Daryl, if you want me to go over anything else, let me know. But other than that, that's about it, Daryl. I'm gonna give it back to you. Phenomenal job. Well, hold on one moment. They may want to talk to you. Anybody want to, <laughs> Kyra? Any questions? Um, 